10 News presents Democracy 2012, your voice, your vote. Well, with the general election just weeks away, E10 News and the EW Scripps Company are dedicated to bringing you the information you know to make your vote count whenever it comes in November. Tonight, we're speaking with Steve Dannon, who is running for San Diego County Board of Supervisors in District 3, the open seat there. First of all, welcome. Thank Steve, you for your time. thank you. Great to be here. Let's talk about your district. One of the biggest keys in that district is transportation. It's one of them. It's a huge one. There is mass growth that's going on, a lot of master plan communities. What do you plan to do about more mass transit and improving the transportation? Well, the first thing we need to do is work with SANDAG, the regional body that represents all 18 cities. Mm -hmm. There's no doubt that we need to widen I-5 for good transportation corridors and also to move commerce and goods. Um, but working with SANDAG is going to be absolutely important. And I'm happy to have the endorsement of the chair of SANDAG, Jerome Stocks, because of my previous relationship of working with a lot of those board members. You do have a lot of endorsements. Small business, the backbone for economic growth. But so many people complain that it's so hard to get anything going with a small business because of the red tape. What yes. can you do to streamline the process? Permits. It should not take two years plus for our small businesses to get the permits they need. Steve? We have nearly one in 10 San Diegans out of work right now. It's actually closer to 15% mm -hmm. because people have fell off the rolls. Last week, it was reported that one in six San Diego County residents are living in poverty. In Escondido, which is part of the third district, childhood poverty is at 24.8%. Our number one priority has to be streamline the permitting pro uh, process and ensure that we create a healthier environment for jobs to be created. If we don't do that, we're doomed. Speaking of jobs, biotech, high tech, Absolutely. big, big things in your district yes. right now. Texas is trying to make these sweet offers, oh, yes, bring they people are. out. What can you do to not only keep business here, but bring in more business? Well, first of all, we have a tremendous amount of synergy. With Salk Institute, UCSD, Scripps Institute of Oceanography, we are a hub of the life sciences industry. I'm proud to have earned the endorsements of Dwayne Roth, who's with Connect, and Joe Panetta with Biocom. This is the new frontier here. What we need to ensure that is we produce a workforce that could service this industry. That's what San Diego has going for itself, is the synergy between the life sciences industry and the high tech industry. And where a member of the Board of Supervisors could help is on the permitting issue and also working with our regional chambers and EDC. First, to retain the business that we have here, Second, recruit, and three, with the incubators, have some great startup companies. We're a military hub. A lot of people cycling out of the military, going into civilian jobs. What can you do to assure them they're gonna have something waiting for them? Very good. There was a Department of Defense report that came out that there's three areas where our veterans are returning from Afghanistan and Iraq. Uh, Chicago, Illinois, Dallas, Texas, and San Diego, California. We must ensure that we are ready with the workforce. We have a lot of medics who are coming back into the region. Why can't we transform them into becoming nurses? We have one of the largest healthcare staffing companies in America, AMN Healthcare, if we, and we have some of the best institutions for education. If we could transition a lot of these individuals, that would provide a net value for our community. We have more than 260,000 veterans living here in San Diego. We not only have the right, but we have a responsibility for those who dedicate their lives to protect our country, for us to ensure that they could protect our quality of life and transition them. We have a lot of veterans who are coming back that have some mental health issues as well as alcohol and drug issues. This is where the county could help. Mm -hmm. And so I'm proud to have been endorsed by the former Secretary of Veterans Affairs, Anthony Precipi, who happens to be a San Diegan re resident because of our commitment to ensure that we take care of those who took care of us. We have about 45 seconds left here. You worked for Congressman Brian Brilbay for many years, Chief correct. of Staff. Correct, that's correct. Your opponent says you're nothing more than just another government insider. How do you answer that? Well, that's absolutely not true. I've started and operated and owned my own business. I wanna take my public sector experience and my private sector experience and put it to work. Job creation is our number one priority right now. There are some very big differences between me and, and my opponent, but I will share with you, when it comes to small businesses, I have never voted. I oppose raising taxes and fees, unlike my opponent, who 21 times voted to create or uh, enhance 237 fees and created a business license tax as well as additional business taxes. This is not a way to help business. This is a way to hurt business. This is a big election. There's only five members of the Board of Supervisors. All it takes is three votes and you can make a very positive difference. Big difference coming up. Absolutely. All right, Steve Bannon, thank you for your time. Thank and don't you, forget Steve. the general election is coming up November the 6th. Thank you.